All right, let's store the pot. Osim tools are everywhere, but here's the truth. Not all of them live up to the hype. Some are overrated, some are downright useless, and a few are absolute I will kiss your grave for eternity type of gems. Today, we're ranking the most popular OSINT tools, and I'm not holding back. Expect some controversial opinions, because we're about to separate the true heavy hitters from the ones that just don't cut it. First up, we've got Showdown. Now, Showdown is definitely an S-tier tool. If you're into reconnaissance or penetration testing, Showdown is your best friend. It's like Google, but for internet connected devices. And it helps you find everything from webcams to industrial control systems. It's so powerful that I feel like it should come with a warning sign. If you're looking to map out vulnerable devices across the globe, this is the tool you'll need. Speaking of, now is the perfect timing to say the classic. This video is strictly for educational purposes. We are only listing and discussing these OSINT tools. We are not showing how to use them. OSINT should always be used ethically and legally. Misusing these tools for unauthorized access, stalking, or any form of malicious activity is illegal and could have serious consequences. Always ensure you have permission and are operating within the law. Stay ethical, stay responsible. All right, next up. Exif tool, and honestly, I'm putting this one in C tier, maybe even D tier, depending on how you look at it. Back in the day, this thing was a must have. If you wanted to pull hidden metadata from images, GPS locations, camera models, software used, all that good stuff. If someone sent you a raw image, you could dig up way more than they probably intended. But most platforms these days completely strip metadata by default. If you think you're gonna grab a random image off Twitter or Instagram and uncover some wild secrets, yeah, that's not happening. At this point, EXIF tool is mostly useful if someone sends you a file through email or a direct transfer without it being compressed, or otherwise, it's just sitting there collecting dust. Cool tool? Yeah, still useful in most cases, not really. Now, let's talk about Multego. This one is definitely an S tier pick. It's the tool you want when you need to map out relationships and connections between people, organizations, and infrastructure. It's a bit of a learning curve, but once you get the hang of it, Maltego becomes your go-to tool for investigative research. You can visualize data and follow threads across networks in a way that makes everything click together. If you love visualizing complex data, Maltego's got your back. All right, now moving on to Have I Been Pwned? This one's in the A tier. We all know how often breaches happen, and this tool is crucial for checking if your personal information or email has been involved in any of them. The simplicity and accuracy of this site make it a must-have for anyone concerned about personal security. A quick search, and you'll know whether your data has been compromised. It's so reliable, it's basically the first step in securing yourself. True classic. Let's switch gears with Intox. I'm putting this in A tier. It's a beast for digging through leaked data, emails, phone numbers, you name it. If you're serious about OSINT, this tool is a goldmine. But here's the problem, it's stupidly expensive. Unless you're a rich Nigerian prince or willing to sell a kidney, good luck getting full access. Next up, we've got Spiderfoot. I'm gonna throw this one in A tier. Spiderfoot takes automation to the next level. It pulls data from more than 100 different sources helping you uncover everything from subdomains to historical data on your target. The level of automation here is unmatched, and it's just a powerful tool for gathering intel on a target. It's not just efficient, it's a serious time saver. Dehashed. I'm giving it an A tier. It's a great tool for searching through data breaches and finding compromised credentials. It's got a massive database of leaked information, so it's super useful for anyone doing OSINT. Not as flashy as some of the S tier picks, but it's highly reliable and gets the job done. On to Google Dorking. Google Dorking is kind of a secret weapon in the OSINT world. If you know how to use it, you can uncover all sorts of information on the web. It's a straightforward tool, but it can lead you down some seriously interesting rabbit holes if you know the right search operators. A tier. All right, moving on to Census. I'm putting it in S tier. Much like Showdown, Census lets you map out internet infrastructure and look for exposed devices, but it takes things a bit further with refined searches. It's incredibly useful for researchers and cybersecurity experts who want a deeper look at what's out there. If you need to analyze security vulnerabilities or find devices, Census is one of the best tools available. Now, let's get into NS Lookup. 
I'm sticking it in B tier. It's an oldie, but it's still a solid tool for querying DNS records. If you need basic information like IT addresses or domain details, ANS lookup is quick and effective. While it's not as flashy as some of the other tools, it's reliable and gets the job done in a pinch. Hunter.io I'm putting it in A tier. It's super handy for finding emails tied to a domain. Whether you're looking to do outreach, penetration testing, or simply want to know who's behind a website, Hunter.io is a great tool. It's easy to use and helps you quickly gather email addresses. Definitely a valuable addition to your toolkit. Next, we have people. I'm going to rank this one A tier as well. If you need to do a deep dive into someone's online presence, people is a solid choice. It searches public records, social media, and other databases to provide comprehensive profiles of people. Now let's talk about MX Toolbox. I'm going to stick it in B tier. If you're looking to check DNS records, email servers, or even check if a domain is blacklisted, MX Toolbox is a great tool to have. It's reliable and super useful when you need quick checks on the health of your email or domain setup. Moving on to Social Searcher. I'm going to place this in the B tier. It's useful for social media searches, but compared to tools like Maltego, it doesn't offer the same depth or capabilities. It's good for quick, simple searches, but don't expect it to reveal everything about a target. Now, let's hit Namek. I'm giving it an 8 tier. It's simple but effective for checking if a username or domain is available across a ton of social media platforms. If you're doing branding or securing your online identity, Maymatchkek is a quick and reliable tool to see where you can use your name. Please don't just ignore it as a tool to stalk your crush. We aren't fifth graders, or are we? LinkedIn, honestly, may be surprising to you guys, but I'm putting it straight in a tier. If you're doing any kind of professional OSINT, LinkedIn is a gold mine. It's the go-to platform for finding people, their job history, education, connections, you name it. You can dig into a person's career path, their skills, and sometimes even see who they're connected to, making it a crucial tool for background checks or even just getting intel on competitors. Sure, it's mostly professional info, but if you know how to dig, you'll be surprised what you can uncover. If LinkedIn's not on your OSINT radar, you're missing out. While we are at it, I'll put all social media here too. And finally, leak check. This one goes into the B tier. While it's great for checking leaks, it doesn't quite match the scope of tools like Dehashed or Have I Been Pwned, which offer larger and more comprehensive databases. Leak check is helpful, but it's more of a backup tool than a primary resource. Also, one more thing, if you're serious about leveling up your OSINT game, come join our Hack Academy community. Not only will you get access to our insane OSINT cheat sheet packed with over 4,000 resources and a 100 plus page PDF, but you'll also be part of a growing community of hackers and security enthusiasts. This is just the tip of the iceberg and there's so much more to explore. But don't wait too long. The price is going up as we hit our new members goal. Get in now while it's still free and stay ahead of the game. Thank you. Thantesto.com and I'm putting this in S tier. The range of information available is top notch, making it a must have for anyone serious about pen testing and vulnerability assessments. Now onto Snuspace, which is also S tier. This one's a database of leaked data and is surprisingly cheap for what you get. Whether you're looking for emails, usernames or other compromised info, Snuspace is a solid tool to have in your arsenal. It's reliable and unlike some other services, the cost doesn't break the bank. Definitely worth the investment for anyone doing breach research or OSINT work. And that's a wrap on OSINT tool ranking. Hopefully, this gives you some solid insight into which tools are must-haves and which ones might not be worth your time. Drop a comment below with your thoughts. Did I miss any or rank anything too high? Thanks for watching, guys. Now you are true detectives.